Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and this is Richie's Rapid Review for a game called Night Squad, which is currently on Nintendo Switch for around the £13.49 mark on the Nintendo eShop. So, Night Squad is an 8 players top down Bomberman meets gauntlet video game. You'll take on opposing knights in top down arenas and engage them in sword fights while also picking up laser guns, miniguns and all sorts of other cool weapons. You'll also get the opportunity to use collectible power ups to run faster, to shield up or even to unleash a kamikaze power up to blow up your opponents. So this game was originally released on PC in 2015 to very positive reviews on Steam and it's now made its way over to the Switch as of the 6th of June 2020. So what did I like about this game? Well it's very easy to pick up, I was waiting for a tutorial but it just throws you in there and it's pretty simple to work out what you'll have to do to battle to the death by swinging your sword and that's basically it. Lovely simple old school fun. There's also lots of cool play modes to choose from which really keeps things interesting and adds to the longevity of the game. My personal favourite mode to play was a medieval game of soccer in which your knight has to push a giant boulder towards the opposition goal while killing the opposition. The single player challenges also offer up some great entertainment should you lack any friends to play with, which is really cool. Presentation is spot on with added polish to the way each knight has his or her own personality. Check out those knight animations on the player select screen to see exactly what I mean. Now the Nintendo Switch comes with the extra chivalrous version of the game um, and is included within the Switch download which gives you some new heroes and some new game modes too which adds to the overall package which is good to see. So what didn't I like about the game? Unfortunately there's no online mode for the Switch version but there is on the PC which is a real shame and also at first I was playing on the Switch Lite and I found it really tough to kind of see my night at first because the graphics are kind of small because we're trying to look at a single arena and um, so I had to switch over to like the classic switch and put it on the docking station play it on a TV to really get the full benefit of the game so I think this game is perfect for a full house of people with access to a few switch controllers so as you can truly experience the madness of Night Squad it's also perfect for non-gamers to play as the control scheme is very simple and easy to pick up Night Squad is ever so nearly an ice cool video game but it's a game that requires a certain scenario of having enough people available with Switch controllers to make it a worthwhile regular playing game. The guys at Chainsaw Awesome some games have done a great job, but I just feel that if it had an online mode, this would be by far one of the best multiplayer games on the Nintendo Switch. I'm therefore awarding it a melting rating and saying it was oh so near and hoping that one day it gets the online gameplay that it deserves on the Nintendo Switch. Right. I'm off to hit a giant worm in the backside with my broadsword and pray that he doesn't try and eat me. Goodbye my friends.